right, hello. So today I'm gonna really focus on stretching the legs. Uh, Cause it's such nice warm weather, a little bit more warmed up. So I'm gonna have to get the legs warm because I wanna do some quite intense hamstring stretches and the front of these leg stretches. Um, but to do that, we're gonna have some aids to help with the stretch, a dressing gown called or a strap, and maybe a pillow or a bit of a blanket, just an extra cushion your knee. Depends how you're gonna do it. But let's get the body ready. Let's get warmed up. Let's get going. So we want to start with our feet underneath our hip bones. And we're thinking of the heels, the ankles under knees, knees under hip tips, under shoulders, ears above shoulders. So we're nice and pulled up tall, hands by the side. Let's just let her lift the toes, spread out the feet. We can sway front to back, side to side. Just find a really nice central place where you feel... Do you know what? I woke up this morning, my ankle is killing me. I don't know what I've done in the night, but I'm going to be very gentle on that today. But just um, finding a nice central part of the feet so we're nice and centered. Lovely. Let's breathe in through the nose. Nice deep breath out through the mouth. So we're sensing the air, feeling up to the diaphragm. And then when we breathe out, we squeeze the diaphragm and force the air out. So whilst we're blowing the air out and squeezing the diaphragm, it means we engage the core and we pull the tummy tight. So that's what we want to try and do. Breath a little bit longer than usual, three, four, five seconds, whatever you can manage. Just make it the same in as out. Really feel that tummy engage, pull the belly button back to spine. And as if you're holding in a wee, you're sort of zipping up your pelvic floor so you sort of feel sucked in and pulled up and that's we're nicely engaged. Think of the tailbone being nice and long and down so you're not sticking your bum out but you're not tucking it under, you're just lengthening. Lovely, let's breathe in again. Breathe out, let the chin tuck in. Just lengthen the back of the neck. So we're trying not to nod the head and drop the head forward. We're just extending the back of the neck and the shoulders are drawing down. Breathe in, lift the chin slightly. Always gotta be careful of the neck. So nice and gentle. The head is very heavy, so we don't wanna suddenly move it very quickly, lovely. Let's add some arms. Breathe in, let that chest lift away from your hips. And then the arms and the chin come down. Breathe in, lift. A little bit of a bounce. Let's swing down, chest to legs. Gentle on the way up so you don't get dizzy. One more. And come back to the centre, lovely. Just a little circle with the nose. And let's change direction. Have a little posture check again. Feet facing forward, nice and parallel, so not turning in or out. Back to centre, arms to the side. Let's take the head side to side, really gently. Thinking of moving with breath. So we breathe in as we take something away from the body and we breathe out as we come back. Hello, come, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, move away. Good rule of thumb to stick to, breathing in as you're taking something away, breathing out as you're pulling it back in and you're squeezing the tummy muscles a bit more. Let's hold this side. And with the thumb and forefinger, we grab the ear. You're not really pinching it, but you just sort of sense that lengthening up. And then gently two fingers, just lengthen that neck, shoulder relax. This hand push down, or you can pull the shoulder down. Work with what your body is happy with. Always listening to your body, you're your best teacher. Let's just rotate, again, it's such gentle pressure on that head. You really never want to pull on it. And release, lovely, let's switch sides. Ear to shoulder, and again, let's grab that ear, feel that lengthen up as if someone's picked you up by the ear. And then we just tip gently to the side, let the shoulder relax, and this one pushes down or pulls with the fingers if that's comfortable. Rest of the body stays still, take a few breaths. Every out breath, squeeze the tummy. If you start to get used to this way of breathing, when you're doing some of the harder exercise on the floor, the abdominal ones, it means you're always going to engage and then you'll be protected, you're working your abdominal muscles more, rotate. 
and you're working safely and you're engaging those muscles strengthening all the muscles the supporting muscles around the spine lovely and release let's get these shoulders open so hands here you've got a nice 90 degree angle and you're squeezing your arm closed so that's where you want the tension squeeze the arms in really tight so already i can feel there's tension and then we're going to open them up so it should be hard to open because i'm pressing my arms against my body trying to squeeze my shoulder blades and close then we add some breath breathe in so really squeeze the tops of those arms so this is basically an outward shoulder rotation, really good for the shoulders. We always have the shoulders inwards, so we're trying to pull them out, open them up, strengthen them up. A little bit of opening in the chest as well. Breathe in, let's add a reach. Breathe out, squeeze back, close, breathe in. Stretch those arms, stretch them to the side, stretch the fingers, give everything a little stretch. So hot today. Well, I mean, they say it's hot. It's hotter than it has been, but our body's a little bit warmer, so we can be a little bit more flexible today. I want to really focus on stretching. One more, especially these legs. And release, lovely. Let's take the arms up to here, shrug the shoulders up, and then slide them down the back. So imagine you've got pockets sort of here, and you're pushing your shoulder blade into those pockets. Breathing in, and again, we don't want to be lifting and closing the ribs. Ribs stay down, it's just in the arms. Breathe out, rotate down. Breathing in, lift up. So with this one, we want to really try and avoid this, because you can see I've just rotated my shoulder down, and all I'm trying to do is open up the shoulders. So you've got to keep nice and level and slow. Breathe in, let's do one at a time. One arm down, adding the head, looking the same way as the hand. Breathe in, center. Breathe out, squeeze the tummy, pull the belly button back to the spine. Breathe in, center, nice stiff wrists, stiff arms. Really feel on the out breath, draw the belly in, squeeze the pelvic floor, one more. Let's hold here, reach those hands back, open up the shoulders and release, lovely. A little bit of warming for the wrist, going to do a lot more stuff today standing. Um, one of the leg stretches is a standing one and one is on the floor. But we need to get these legs warm, so I'm afraid I'm going to get you doing a few squats and a few standing leg things. But that's good for mobility, strength and flexibility. Let's just these wrists a bit warm for when we go down to the floor gentle figure of eight motion lovely and then let's flex and bend so we'll do our little break dance move it's called the boogaloo or whatever it is i don't know and then can you change direction get your brain working the other ways it's just about bending and flexing the wrists and fingers but making it fluid release stretch take the arms up Lifting one shoulder, but not bending the body. Lift the other shoulder. Reach up. Breathe in, breathe out. Bring the hands in front of the chest, backs of the hands to me. Reach away, separate those shoulder blades, chin tucks in. Soft knees, squeeze it on me in. And release, lovely. A little bit of rotation. Let's take the feet a little bit wider. Let's have the hands crossed and our chin stays in line with where our arms cross. Soft knees so we don't move the hips. Rotate. Keep your chin in line. Back, back to centre. So it's this shoulder that we're squeezing back, pushing back, pushing back. And it's this hip that you're trying to keep forward because it wants to move back. So you're using these muscles to keep your body forward. So it's a very gentle move. It's really just waking up the spine and getting some rotation. Let's add on a reach, breathe in. Reach, follow the hand with the eyes, nice and gentle. Breathe out, breathe in, twist and reach. Keep your shoulder down, don't let it creep up to the ear. Breathe in, twist and reach. Keep those hips forwards. One more. Lovely. Let's take the hands to the side, gently slide down. 
And imagine you're leaning against the wall, your head's against the wall, your bottom's against the wall. It's very tempting to lean forward and take that shoulder around, but just imagine your shoulders are on that wall as well, and you're just sliding down the wall side to side. We can add on. If you need to, just have your hands on your hips to support. Can we reach an arm up? And it's not over, it's up. So one arm up, one arm down. Reach, you're really stretching the body and change sides. Reach up, reach down. And then again, reach up. And change. Lovely, and release, good. So we're gonna get the legs moving. I'm gonna do a few squats, that's the best way to really wake up the hamstring. I know the last few weeks we've been really focusing on these glute squats by sort of thinking of turning the feet out. Don't worry too much about that, I just wanna get the legs warm. So just a quick squat um, thing, keeping your back nice and straight. So straight means that you're not arching it and you're not tucking it under. So even though it isn't naturally straight, it has a curve, but we mean straight. And it's like you're sitting down in a chair. So if you see from my head, to my tailbone, it's nice and straight. Feet hip width apart. You can start small, squeeze the tummy in. Main thing is your bottom goes back. Your knees stay over your ankles. Don't let them come forward. And a bit more, a bit bigger. Breathe in, breathe out. On the way up, you can squeeze your bum, push forward. We could add some arms if you wish. Breathe in. So we're working these long leg muscles here. That's what we want to stretch. But they can't stretch if they're not warm. Hold here. Just the arms. Breathe in. And out. And in. And out. Breathe in and hold. Reach up. Try and reach your fingertips one way and your bottom back behind you the other way. Weight into the heels. Try and really reach up for four. Three. Don't arch your back. And release. Lovely. I'm going to hold on to the side, grab onto a wall if you want, or whatever you've got near you. Again, we want to get these hamstrings warm and these hip flexors, because that's ultimately what we're going to stretch today. Lift the leg up and back and up, and almost a little swing. The leg is bent. Don't worry about the back. Just think about lifting that leg up. Then I want to try and straighten the leg a bit more as we go. So as it gets warmer, the leg is less bent and it's swinging. Flexing the foot helps to get your foot there. If you point it, it's going to hit the floor. So flex and you're pulling up. Then think more about the lift up. Hand back. Lift up and you're trying to keep your body up so you don't bend towards it. Don't worry if it's not straight. It's just getting that leg warm. We're going to really stretch it in a minute. Four. Three, two, one, slightly different. Lift it to where you can hold the knee. Just try and straighten and in and down and lift. Straighten, you don't have to have your foot flexed for this. Relax the foot if you want. Don't worry about the height, you could be here, but just get a straight leg at some point. Lift, straighten, in and down. Two more. Lovely. You're also working the glute of your standing leg, squeezing the tummy in, and that's good for balance. We're not really trying to balance here, but we're just trying to warm up that leg. Last one. Fantastic. I'm just going to switch sides. Same thing. Let's just start with lifting the knee up, swinging it back. And it's nice and parallel, so your knee isn't going out to the side. Just gentle. Try and keep the upper body still. Lovely, then maybe straighten it a little bit more. So we're thinking more of the kicking forward motion. Again, flex your foot so it's not gonna kick the floor. And then maybe lengthen it a bit more, swinging that leg. Squeezing the cheek of the other leg you're standing on, nice and tall. Lovely, then we're going to lift the knee up, straighten in and down, lift, straighten. Again, you can relax your ankle and you could be here. Just try and get a straight leg at some point, even if it's just there, whatever your range is, listen to your body. We are gonna increase the flexibility of the stretch. Flex in and down, still squeeze, even if you're holding on, try not to be hanging on to something. Two more, 
last one, good. So we should feel these have been working, the legs are nice and warm. We are gonna use our bands. So we normally do our hamstring stretches seated and bend over, but this time we're gonna be standing, we're gonna use our body weight. So just stand on your band or your strap for now, just let it be there. So we're gonna do this in stages. Hamstrings are easy to pull. So we're gonna start with bent legs. And the back is straight here, so don't arch it. But it's gonna round, so don't worry about that. So slowly, slowly, get yourself down so you feel your chest is resting on your legs, so you've got support here. So some of us are gonna be able to reach the floor, some of us are not, so this is where your bands are gonna come into uh, play here. Because what we wanna try and do is straighten the legs. So I'll do it with a band with you. So let's hold here with bent legs and then you're just gently trying to straighten and let the upper body just hang. So you might find you don't want the strap, you might prefer to hold, support yourself on your thighs. But we're just doing a very gentle bend and stretch trying to get these legs straight. Don't worry if they don't to start with. You might find that you're quite happy with your hands down on the floor. You're going to just work at your own level, but that's what the bands are here for. So if you're here, at least you've got something to hold on to. Bend and stretch. Bend, one, two, three, four, relax the neck, and straighten, one, two, three, four, and bend, two, Three. So I'm still letting my legs take the whole weight of my body here, and then I'm straightening up. Next time, bend, straighten, I'm going to then try and not lean on my body so much. Scoop the belly in, and I'm just going to hang. So you can find your level. Grab here, if you can reach the floor, wonderful. You could maybe play around with this. Can I lean forward a bit? Can I lean backward a bit? Feel it differently in your legs. And relax your neck. Let's bend one knee. Bend. So your hip dips and you feel that nice stretch. And straighten. Bend the other knee. Bend. Again, you can still be using your bands if you need to. You work where your body is happy. You could be all the way up here. Don't worry. Bend the other one and stretch and bend and stretch and hold so for some of us you might find that you can hold the back of the legs again just work at your level you might find you could grab your hands and clasp them together around the back of your legs or you're just going to use your band and pull yourself a little bit closer so you're pulling your chest towards the legs scoop the belly in let's hold a few more seconds One more deep breath and release. Let's just bend and curl up. Oh, that's a stretch and a half. Give these legs a little shake. The other stretch we'll do when we're down on the floor. So let's go into our roll down, which you probably find quite easy now. Do our usual little roll down, pack stretch, etc. So standing at the edge of your Matt, imagine you're leaning against the wall, so your bottom is on that wall, and your ribs, and your head, and your shoulders. Breathe in, head comes off the wall, breathe out. Round the shoulders, scoop the belly, and you're really heavy, like a rag doll. Again, if you've got any back issues, just soft knees. Round, round, round. Get a nice rounding in the back, stretch, and then when you're happy, you can then extend the legs and roll down. You should feel like, whoo! And stretch all the way to the floor. Breathe in at the bottom, breathe out, come back the same way. So think of your hips on the wall behind you. Knees can be soft. Again, listen to your body, you're your own teacher. Get the ribs on that imaginary wall, then the shoulders, then the head. Let's give ourselves a challenge, just close the eyes, breathe in. Breathe out, close the eyes, chin down, roll down. I'm gonna amend my camera angle, you stick with this. Well, 
Once we are here, we can put our hands down, knees down, open the eyes. I'm just going to release my feet and sit back. Child pose, hands down and relax. Lovely. Coming up. Let's come into our cat pose or tabletop pose to do our cat cow. So this is the cow and then the cat is the arch. So let's just start with shoulders back, neck is long, hands are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips and we're thinking of pulling those hands apart slightly so that we really engage the shoulders so we don't want to be collapsed. Nice and strong, push up. Feel the difference, let yourself collapse down and then feel strong so you know the difference in the position, lovely. Breathe in, let's just arch a little bit, lift the chin, stretch the tummy. Then breathe out, tuck under. So we're doing a pelvic tilt, tucking under, pull the belly button up towards the spine, look underneath. And reverse. And then round. So when we round, it's just the lower back. Don't take your shoulders up to your chin. Keep them here, but just think of this area here is pulling up and this is tucking under. And again, breathe in, release. Breathe out, tuck. Breathe in, release. So we're getting a lovely articulation of the spine, bending one way and the other, and we're really working those abdominals. We are stretching them, we are contracting them. We are stretching them, we are contracting them. One more. And sit back. So open those knees a bit further, reach on through and get a bit of opening in these shoulders. Lovely. So I do a little bit of upper body work, not a lot really, just a little bit of getting these uh, shoulders warm so we can give those a stretch as well. So I'm going to do a push up, but I'm going to do it in this position. So I'm in all fours and then I want to just take one leg out as if I was going to do a plank. So my toes tucked under my legs back. So this means I can have my hands in this sort of, this position and do a push up like this because there's not so much weight. So I'm leaning forwards and coming back up. So you don't want it, the foot helps you because you can't, if your foot's extended, you can't, you try not to do that. So you want to lean in front of your hands. If you wish, you could take your leg up, so it's a counterbalance, and come back. But keep those elbows in close towards the body. Shoulders back, keep your back don't rotate it, squeeze the tummy in, go for eight of these in your own time, shoulders away from the ears, chin tucked in, squeeze the tummy, again you don't have to lift the leg, and if you're really struggling, just have both feet down on the knees, but you can make it small, you haven't got to touch your forehead on the floor, three more, breathe in, breathe in out, so it's nice and controlled, strengthening these arms, Elbows in, don't let them come out like chicken wings. Pull them in. One more. Release. Let's sit back. Coming up, let's stretch these wrists. So I'm going to do some more work for our legs and our abs, and then we'll be able to do this nice knee stretch I've been talking about. Let's sit here. So I'm going to take it all the way down, roll, roll, one vertebra at a time, all the way to the floor. So making sure you've got room in front of you, what I want to do today is a lot of moving the legs in and out. So they can slide on the mat, you're not pushing down hard, so you're just sort of floating along the mat. But just to start with, and for those of you who did my roller classes, that sort of thing, we had as if you've got a roller under your foot, so I'm trying to use the legs and the abdominals at the same time. But just to start with, feet hip width apart, shoulders away from the ears, hands down. You've got neutral spine, so there is a gap you can get your hands under. Just pull the tummy in so you're contracted, zip the pelvic floor up, lengthen the neck. You can take your hands and scoop them up the back of your head. So you've got a nice length of neck. If that's difficult to maintain, just about an inch of towel just underneath the head, just to lift slightly, but we don't want to be bending the neck. 
Let's just slide the right leg away. Nice and easy, slide and back. So it's kind of floating. The idea is don't move anything else, just slide that leg away. And come back, come down. And then slide. Let's add a bit of coordination. Let's bring the arms up here. Now we're gonna slide the right leg down, left arm back and come up. So we're opening up the shoulders as well, try and keep that body still. And keep the arm just off the floor, so it just hovers and comes back. You can touch your thumb on the floor, but we're not relaxing it down. We're lengthening. See here, we're stretching, and then we're pulling it back, lovely. Okay, I want to slightly add on to this. I'm going to take the hands behind the head, building levels. If you want to stick here, you can. If you've got neck issues, maybe you're not going to want to crunch up. The main thing with a crunch is the ribs here and the hips are crunching. You've only got to lift a little bit. You're not here. So just think of the, these crunching, small lift. That's all you need. So whilst we're here, and let your hands take the weight of your head. It is heavy. Elbows back. Slide one leg out and back. So you should feel this because we're engaging here. And here, and in, and one, and back again. You can keep your head down if you want and use the arms. So what I'd like to try and do is both legs. So we're just going to have to be light on the feet enough so that you're not pulling your mat up. So you're going to have to use your abs to lift your legs. So you're just sliding on the toes. Stick to one leg if you want, if that's too difficult. Again, just slide one. Slide the other, or oh, we're sliding two, and back. Having your upper body lifted helps you keep your lower back print, printed into the floor. If you lie down, if you get a bit more of an arch, and keep going. One more, then I'm changing again. Let's have one leg up, and one leg out. This leg's staying up, this one's coming in and out. Remember when we used to have the roller? Try and crunch up a bit more, leg slides in, and out, and in, and out. Again, you can be down if your neck and shoulders are not happy. Slide in, and out, can we? You know what I'm gonna do now. Slide in, and out. So one is pumping in and out, one is kicking up and down. It's exactly what we used to do when we had the roller. So your left leg is rolling in and out, the right leg is kicking up and down. Let's do four more, and three, and two, and a one, well done. Woo. We've got to do the other side, I'm afraid. So let's start with crunching up, if we're comfortable with that, slide the right leg in and out. Then let's get this left leg up in the air, slide in and out, slide. Try and push the lower back into the floor. Try not to pull on the neck, relax it into those hands. Can we start to kick up and down? Breathe in and out and in and out. Four more. side to side, roll them around, hold on to your right knee, lengthen your left leg away, so this one is pulling in, this is lengthening because we've just been pulling it in and out, so we want to stretch it, let's look side to side, release any tension in the neck, Woo. we're going to go for this leg stretch in the moment. And again, it just takes a while to get into, so we just have to do it slowly. But nice, gentle class today. Release, let's switch. Uh, left knee in, right leg lengthens away. Lower back in the floor, nice and even, and we can have a little rock again of the head. So this next exercise, you're either gonna need a wall, I'm gonna do it against that so you can see me better but you don't have to this is why we're gonna have these bands it looks worse than it is but it's a great stretch for really opening out these legs and knees okay so i'm gonna use my 
So, what I am going to do is, I'm going to give you a couple of options. I think we'll try the option first without the wall and then we'll use the wall. So, I want to come onto the knees and have this underneath one of your feet. So if you wrap it around the back of your right foot and then it's step the step the left foot forward and we are going to use this to pick the foot up so you might find you know that that's enough just a very gentle you need to be far enough over on the leg that you're not rolling on your kneecap you're kind of on the front part of it so if you more you come forward the more comfortable it is if these are just not happening at all for anyone, option is to lie on the floor and just use this to help pull in. But if you're comfortable on this double stretch, or alternatively, you could do this and just forget the back leg. But if you can, get the leg up, lean forward, and you've got this very gentle ease in, release, ease in, release. What I want to do is have that leg against the wall in a minute so we will try and see how we get on i'm leaning on this leg for support i suppose the next stage is can you come up a bit higher and pull the leg in a bit more so we're familiar with this stretch not too hard getting a really nice stretch all down this hip flexor again listen to your body there should be no pain breathe into it always trying to draw your hips down lovely keeping in mind which leg you're on so I've got my right leg this is the next bit don't panic it's exactly the same I'm going to come to a wall and I am going to lean forward and have my foot up against the wall on the knee and I'm going to do exactly the same Put this one forward, lean into it. So that's all I'm doing to start with. And I'm just going to gently lean down and release. So see how that feels on your leg. Again, trying to keep this knee over the ankle. So you could just do this completely, ignore the wall, you know, the usual stretch we do. It just does add to it very gently, breathing in, breathing out. I don't think you really even need your band anymore for this because you've got a wall in the way. Seeing how that feels, is there a point where we can come up a bit? Lifting up a bit. Breathing into it. And the idea is I'm slowly pushing myself further back against this wall. Really listen to your body. People really go very gentle. Don't want any injuries. And you might just find on your knees uncomfortable. That's why I've got a big blanket under my knee. It's a real intense stretch here. Just release into it. And if you need to come out of it, just don't do it. Just try and zone into it, breathe. And then let's gently, gently come out of it. Well done. I'm afraid we've got to do the other leg. So I'm going to start away from the wall. I'm going to have this wrapped around the other leg. So on the knees, right leg forwards, so that's going to feel nice. And I'm just gently going to see if I can pick the knee up and come forward so it's kind of like you're more on that bit of the knee rather than the kneecap so you need to get yourself forward and then with this we can lean on the leg pull in and release you might find that's too much again you know your options pull in release Grab onto whatever you need, it's a bit of a wobbly one. Release, pull in, release, pull in. And then I'm going to think about sort of dropping, pulling in and dropping down a little bit more. So we'll just try and drop those hips down, breathing into it. Mm. 
One more lovely deep breath. Slowly coming out. So you're going to find, you know, one leg is always going to be better than the other leg. One leg is going to be really not as tight. So I've gone with my legs against the wall. That one's down. This one comes forward. And then it's just about leaning into the leg, shuffling yourself back. And again, you might have your knee further forward. Work with your body. And again, I'm coming forward. Push back a little bit. Funnily enough, this leg seems much looser. Weird, isn't it? You think my right leg would be looser? Who knows? Everyone is different. Obviously, I'm being very careful because I'm leaning against a cupboard, trying to lean against something. It's not going to move. Okay, so the leg is back. I'm going to try and lift my body up a little bit. Because it's incredible that that one is like, my right leg was so tight. But please do it in stages. You might just be here. And I'm not trying to arch the back. I'm just trying to lift the body up. It looks quite horrific when you look at yourself in the mirror, but it's only like standing up and pulling one leg up behind you. It's just, that's all we're doing. It's just that you've got something to lean on. Close the eyes and zone out. A few more deep breaths here. One more nice deep breath. Ooh, let's slowly come down and try and get yourself out of that in a ladylike fashion. <laughs> oh, let's let these legs out in front of us and just give them a little bit of a a nice little bit of a, a rest. I'm going to give the ankles a nice bit of a looking after because I don't really do much with them. And my ankle hurts today. So I'm just going to sit comfortably. It's a bit more of a yoga move, but it doesn't really matter. So the ankle itself can we just lift the leg and you just cradle in your ankle with one arm, cradle the leg and the other one you're just circling it round gently, just getting some mobility, seeing how that feels, listen to your feet. Again, if you wanted to, you could lean against the wall, but try and stay upright, change direction with your circling, let your ankle be floppy. Can we flex it a little bit, stretch the toes, point in. What I want to try and do, and again, is I'm lifting this up. So I'm trying to hold here, so it's like my leg is my baby. Again, work where you might find hand on the foot and here is enough. And we're just giving it a little rock. If you can get in your crevices of your elbows, probably start with one foot and then here. Again, you've got to listen to your knees. We've just been bending them around, so see how they feel, and your hips. Just gives that hip a nice little opener, a nice little jig. Again, you can do it here, so really listen to your own body. Let's relax that down, let's switch sides. I'm going to just start with scooping the arm under the leg and just hold this foot. Circling it round. Lovely. And let's reverse. Lovely. Then I'm going to start to hold like your foot to your baby. Give it a little rock. So you're rocking that hip back and forth. And then could we, I find it easier to get the foot in the crevice first and then scoop it up and twist. It's a nice opener in this hip as well. Lots of stretching today. But it's warm, it's hard to stretch in, it's winter and it's cold. When your body's warm, it just stretches a lot easier. Lovely stuff. Let's gently release, wonderful. Let's take it back down onto the floor. I want to do a little bit of bridge work. And we're going to do our bridge walks, which I'm not sure if we did this last week or not. But again, we've really stretched our hamstrings. I want to give them a bit of strength as well now. So we'll do some normal bridges to start with. So your feet hip width apart, put the feet together, lift the toes, lift the heels. 
hands slide down, neck is long. Again, you can scoop up if that helps. And we're in neutral spine, but just let your ribs settle a bit. They tend to sort of be up here. You don't want a big gap. Squeeze, pull in, knees straight to the ceiling. Breath in. Breathe out, let's flatten the back into the floor. So you're flattening from your tailbone all the way up to here. So try and think of the vertebrae in between and count. So if you press with your tailbone, you're like pressing, 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 pressing. So you're totally flat all of your back into the floor and then you release one at a time. So we're doing a pelvic tilt. It's the same as the cat cow, but you're doing this with your back on the floor, but you're still arching one way and then tucking the pelvis under for a pelvic tilt. You're also breathing out, <sighs> squeezing the abs in, squeeze the pelvic floor as much as you can, as tight as you can, just for this practice. Before we lift, make sure the ball of the foot, the big toe, the little toe, the heel, everything's evenly balanced, otherwise the knees are gonna splay out to the side. Lovely, this time we're gonna lift, breathe in, breathe out, flatten the tailbone all the way up to the ribs, get to here, squeeze your bottom. Think of like when we did the turning of the tops of the jars with our feet. So your feet aren't moving, but from here you're sort of squeezing without trying to let the knees come out. Lots to think about, breathing in. Breathe out, roll down. So try and get the bits of vertebra here, your rib cage, and then push all the way down, 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 back to the tailbone. You've got to tilt in the air to get there. Breathe in, breathe out, lift up, squeeze. Breathe in, breathe out, roll down. Really feel each part of your spine into that floor. Breathe in, breathe out, lift up. Breathe in, breathe out, roll down. Next time, take it up and hold. Breathe in, breathe out, curl up and hold. Let's take one step forward with your right foot, then a step with your left foot, then bring it back right, bring it back left, and roll down. This is where we're gonna start, and we're gonna build on. Breathe in, breathe out, curl up. Squeeze the tummy, step forward. One, two, come back, right and left, roll down. Try not to let those hips sink as you walk. Breathe in, breathe out, curl up. Can we add two walks this time without coming down in between? So one, two, come back, then step it again. One, two, come back, then roll down. Can we add this time four walks? Again, build that you're comfortable with. Stick with one if you want, or take the walks out. Lift here, can we walk small steps? One, two, three, and four. Come back, squeeze your bum, one, two, three, four, roll down, and again, breathe in, breathe out, curl up, squeeze your bottom, lengthen the neck, walk, one, and two, and three, and four, bring it back, can we do another walk for four, one, and two, and three, and four, bring it back, squeeze the bum, lift the hips, roll down, wonderful, bring those knees in one at a time, and the other one. Whew. Circle the knees, release that back, circle them the other way. Try to lie onto our tummies, we're gonna work our backs. So the feet are just relaxed behind you. We're gonna do a little bit of mobility work and a little bit of strengthening. So the feet are just pointing out behind me. I know you can't see them, but they're just like that. Backs of the feet on the floor. And I've just got my hands here. Neck is long, shoulders are back and I'm held. So I'm not completely collapsed. Hold slightly, squeeze the tummy in. Don't push against the floor. And then what I wanna do is, imagine you've got a marble on your nose and you're rolling it along, get to your chin and extend. And then come back down. It's called a swan dive. Breathe in, roll the marble, get to your chin and extend. So it's like you're trying to lengthen up, think like a sort of cobra snake and roll down. So this one is about mobility. It is working the spine, pull the tummy in, roll, lift but shoulders back, feel yourself lengthening. And down. Lovely. Okay, this time 
We're going to keep the neck down, so we're not trying to extend up now. We're just going to be lifting up, so we're working the strength of the back, but not trying to arch it. And I'm going to take the arms off, so it's not such a high lift. Squeeze the tummy, squeeze the bottom, lift, breathe in, and lower. Lift, breathe in, and lower. Lift, breathe in, lift. Squeeze the tummy, and lower. Breathe in, lift. And lower, relax, let's breathe in, lift the right leg, breathe in, lift, squeeze your bottom, try and keep a straight leg, and lower, left leg, lengthen, lift, you're pushing your hip into the floor, squeezing your bottom, upper body is still, pull that belly in still, squeeze that glute, so this is our base move, we're going to lift the arms as well, so you can do arms and one leg, let's try that, so let's lift arms and one leg, and lower. You can just stick with lifting the body and one leg if you prefer, or arms, small lift, one leg, lower. Main thing, don't press your belly in the floor, keep your chin tucked in, use the breath. Can we go for both legs? Again, it's an optional add-on, legs and arms, and release. Legs and arms, and release. Legs and arms. And release, legs and arms. Last time, hold it here, legs and arms, lift up, and squeeze your elbows up for two, for three, for four, for five, six, seven, and eight. Relax, let the legs relax, head relax. We're gonna do one for the back, so it's kept low, but your arms are here, they reach back, and as we lift up, they're gonna turn. So like you've got a door handle and you're turning your arms. So you, they'll only go one way, so don't worry about which way they're going. But think palms are up and then just turn them back in on themselves. And it kind of makes your spine squeeze back together. So squeeze the tummy. Neck is long, shoulders back. And lift up the body, reach those hands back, palms up. And then just rotate those arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together and release. Lift up and rotate and release and lift and rotate. So you're rotating but you're reaching back as if you really try to touch your feet. The shoulders away from the ears, squeeze the shoulders back. Lovely. This time lift up and rotate and hold. Release, rotate, release. Rotate, release, then hold the palms up, tiny pulses, one, it's like the hundred, two, three, reach back, squeeze the tummy, squeeze the bum if you want, it's not about height, for four, for three, for two, for one, well done, release, let's push up, and sit back, wonderful, well, it's going really quickly today, stretch those arms. Let's have a little bit of a chest stretch as we've been, uh, we did a little bit of a push up so the arms are nice and warm, we'll grab our bands. So let's grab these, what I want to try and do, I'm going to sit on my knees, if that's not comfortable you can sit um, on the floor, if I'm up here you are not going to see my arms but you can be on the knees like this if that's more comfortable for you. Basically, I want to take the band and stretch the chest. I know the band doesn't move, but you still get a stretch and release. Think of taking the arms up and then let the arms come down, stretch back up and forward. Again, let's have the band, let's take it up, stretch. Really nice, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift. Slightly different one. I'm just turning so you can see me. So let's have the band behind us now. So I'm gonna wrap my hands around it so it creates a tight, you know, my arms wanna pull apart and this is gonna keep them there. Stretch back. You can lean forward if you're comfortable. I just find that gravity helps. You can lean onto your legs, you can lean on the floor. You can stay where you are and you're just taking your arms over, pulling them apart, taking them over. 
breathe into it. Again, as we reach back, stretch that chest. Do one nice shoulder tricep stretch as well before we have a bit of a, a relax. So, just to turn around so you can see what I'm doing. Holding this in my right arm, take my right arm up, and then I'm going to grab with the other hand. And I'm going to climb my hand up, cord, and the other one down, till I get to a point where I can't go anymore. So this upper one is the one pulling, and this is the one being stretched. Again, comfortable position for your seat. Cross-legged could be better. So this one pulling up, is stretching this arm underneath you. Relax, breathe into it. Lovely. Wonderful stuff. Let's gently, gently release. Gonna switch sides of this arm. It's just gonna dangle down. This one's gonna reach behind and then I'm gonna start climbing the hands together. And again, this arm can start to pull as much as you're comfortable with. The idea is your hands would reach each other eventually, so if you can, great. But it's very tight. Using a band is a uh, rope strap is better, I think, because you're not so focused on clambering to get your hands together. At least you can stretch the body. Just a gentle stretch. Use what's available. Nice, good breath. One more breath. Release, wonderful. Let's lie down. Hands out to the side, knees and feet together, just a gentle, gentle rock. And then let those knees fall one way, keep the shoulders down, look the other way. It's going to start to put a bit of relaxation music so we start to get in the zone. And then gently take your knees the other way and your body the other way. Your head. <laughs> Can't look at phone and try and talk. I've got it ready so that we would be ready. Here we go. come back into centre. Let's cross one leg over the other and have the legs tightly crossed so it's not an ankle on the knee. Same thing, let those legs fall to one side and your head look the other way. Keep the shoulders down. I'm sticking on the side on that one side of it. I think it needs to be connected to Wi-Fi for some weird reason. And then very gently, let's keep those legs crossed, lift them up, gently, gently let them fall the other way and the head looks the other way. And then slowly, slowly coming back to centre, head back to centre, get ourselves nice and centred, let's cross the other leg over. And then let those knees gently fall to one side and looking the other way. And then squeeze the tummy, head back to centre. Let's let these legs gently, gently, gently go the other way. Gently come back to centre. 
Let's have a lengthening of the body, just very relaxed. And then let's find a position we are comfortable in. So if you did have a blanket nearby, put that over you, under your head, wherever you want. Palms could be up, feet apart. Just find a comfortable position for you. Taking a breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth and close the eyes. Close the mouth and just carry on breathing through the nose. We're going to do a body scan. Get ourselves nice and relaxed. So we're closing the eyes, we're focusing on the breath, we're just sensing the tummy rise and fall slightly. Feeling the air through your nostrils, in the back of your throat. And then how does your forehead feel? Is it tense? Are we frowning? Can we just relax? The eyes, are they relaxed? Are they soft? And then sense the mouth underneath the jaw, from the ear down to the jawline. Is there any tension? Or is the mouth relaxed? And then sense the back of the head into the floor, into your mat. How does that feel? Is there any tension? Feeling the neck, noticing how it feels. The shoulders are into the floor. How do the shoulder blades feel? Is that even? Is there any tension there? Can we just wiggle into it, let it go, breathe into it? Feeling your rib cage, feel your ribs expand as you breathe and then contract as you breathe out. And your tummy is lifting, expanding and then falling with the out breath. And then back up to those shoulders, let's come down the arms, the elbows are touching the floor, the mat, how does that feel, is that soft, is that comfortable, is there any tension, could we move slightly, relieve that tension, thinking now about the wrists, is there any tension in the hands and wrists, again just adjust, or just breathe, or just accept, just be in this moment. And then thinking of your lower back, your lower spine, your tailbone touching the floor, your bottom, your legs, any tension in the pelvic area, just breathing into it. And then down the legs into the knees and the feet and the ankles. And just spending a moment checking in with your body, giving yourself some time. slowly let's bring some awareness back to the breath so breathing in again through the nose maybe out through the mouth wiggle those fingers wiggle the toes resisting the urge to move too much just waking up the body gently circle the wrists maybe circle the feet Let's stretch those arms up above the head, a nice full body stretch, breathing into it. Could reach one arm and the other hand, stretch the legs and release. Placing one foot on the floor, then the other, then bringing in one knee into the chest, then the other, and just gently rocking side to side, massaging that lower back. Roll over to your right hand side, keeping the eyes closed if possible, and coming into a child pose, just for one last relaxation pose, just relax here, breathe, opening the eyes gently, let the light filter in, slowly lifting the head, 
hands on the floor, lifting the body, and then coming to a comfortable position. <sighs> Feeling refreshed, let's breathe in and out. Should feel lovely and stretch, breathe in and out. Let's have one more deep breath in. Give yourselves a big clap today, that's quite an intense class. Well done, thank you everybody, have a wonderful week. Thank you.